find that good well. Um, no. I'm not gonna not get rid of it because of that. I just don't realize it was a mess anyway. But so obviously like you as like a white male, you were like the least like But now you're judging me, you're assuming we're on No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not judging you. Either. I'm just saying like that perhaps like you might be the person who is least hurt in the situation. I'm a passenger in your car. Like that doll is offensive to me. But you don't want to take it down because you like found it at Goodwill and it was like a good find. I'm not going to make a typical reaction video like everyone else. Let's be honest, this is nothing new. I'm not mind blown by like everyone else. You know, I'm not gonna make a video like, oh my god, this woman's incredibly fucking stupid. She's so goddamn cringeworthy. Why does she exist? No. I'm not going to make a video like that. Because I have to be honest, this is nothing new. I wasn't shocked. I wasn't, you know, completely blown out of proportion. No, 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 no. I was calm. I looked at the video, and my reaction is, I'm not surprised anymore. I'm just not surprised. Let me explain the video to you. So there's this girl who decided to order a cab from Lyft. The cab driver happens to own a little Hawaiian doll, Hawaiian doll bobblehead. She gets offended by that. Because apparently you are not allowed to have an Hawaiian bobblehead. Even though there's probably a few Hawaiian bobbleheads in Hawaii. So you can pick it up as a souvenir. I mean, they probably sell those in Hawaii. But anyway, she gets offended by it. The cab driver is annoyed by this. Well, and, you know, he's actually enjoying this. He he just can't believe that this is happening. And trust me, I do not blame him. If it wasn't for the fact that, in, you know, if he were to see the internet today, watch any video that contains a feminist, you know, he would go, you know, roll his eyes like, oh my god, I'm dealing with one of those people. So she gets offended by the bobblehead, um, starts harassing the guy, then decides, you know what, I'm not going to deal with this shit. She decides, he decides to drop her off, you know, at some place and whatever, and decides to drive off. She also mentions Gawker a lot. Oh yeah, Gawker Media. Hmm. Yeah, the same Gawker Media that just filed bankruptcy. I'm not sure if this video was made before Gawker's bankruptcy or slightly after Gawker's bankruptcy. But she did in fact mention Gawker. And to be honest, I'm, part of me actually believes that she's only doing it for attention. And I wouldn't be shocked either. But let's make a safe bet and say that she actually did it because she actually wanted to defend Hawaiian people. One, she doesn't get to defend on behalf of Hawaiian people. I bet she does not, she does not even have a Hawaiian friend. Not a single one. And even if she did, what makes her think that she has the ability to speak on their behalf? And honestly, I just don't care. I, I have to praise the cab driver for actually dealing with that psychopath. She is one of the worst kind of people who get easily offended. There's just no pleasing these folks. But again, I am not shocked. There are people who have done worse. There are feminists rioting with their bras off. You know, feminists, you know, throwing trash cans and all this shit. I'm not surprised anymore. These people are children. 
The only thing that we can do is spread the word towards many pe as many people as possible. I talked to the people, some of the people at the Church of Scientology. You know, I, I figured that, you know, these guys are pretty cool. You know, say what you will about Scientology, but I talked to one of the guys. You know, we had a conversation about how these feminists are going absolutely nuts, especially with the transgender bathrooms. We talked a lot. And they even offered me a chance to you know, create my own videos. You know, they have their own video studio. So I might take advantage of that. So yeah, fuck you, Bearing fans. <laughs> but, I'm just not surprised. The only thing we can do is just show it to people who don't know what's going on. If the whole world sees this, eventually there will be more people pushing back against this regressive ideology where we have to be offended by everything. Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer and keep gaming on.